Whoa, okay. Hey guys, um, so, this is another thing that my friends got me. Um, it's from a vacuum we took apart, one of those, uh, you know, like, backpack-style vacuum cleaners. And, um, it's a really huge motor. It's, it's very large. It takes 11 and a half amps, and at, um, 120 volts, 60 hertz AC, so it's not something to mess with. It's a 1,400 watt motor, 1,400 watts. So as you can see, um, it's probably one of those uh, vacuum cleaners that has like something like this, and then two little tabs on either side. I could make a separate video on the computer explaining how that worked, uh, probably a lot better than I could now. So anyway, the vacuum works. It draws air in on a hole on the front side. So that hole right there takes air in. Not sure, really a great way to mount the um, since I want to use this for my particle accelerator as like a first stage of a vacuum pump. I'm not really sure how to mount it to the particle accelerator because all I got is this big cylinder on the outside here, so I might use that. Um, the vacuum then blows, sucks the air through the motor, and blows it out the back side, so it's got like a self cooling sort of thing. Um, so that's pretty neat. I got it just clipped in with alligator clips to the wall. And the chairs are here so that it doesn't rotate. Because if you just leave it sitting on its own, or even with one chair, it'll flip over and short out. And even when it's been flipping over and shorted out, my brothers have said that they've seen sparks on the motor. So, um, you know, I'm not really sure if this is a, you know, the motor's okay or not, but, um, I really hope so, seeing as it's, it's really big and cool. So, uh... I'm gonna fire it up for you guys. I, I, I'm really scared of this thing. It's huge and since it's sparking, you know? But I will fire it up. So right now. So as you can see there, it was plugged in for like five seconds and it moved the chair. This, this is not something to mess with. This is a power motor and I'm not really sure how to, um, you know, uh, how to put this thing in a position where it won't flip over. So I'm going to try it again, see if I can get it to not flip over this time. Okay, it flipped over again. Anyway, I haven't really been able to plug it in for long enough to see how much suction it's getting, and seeing as I don't really have a vacuum gauge to um, read how much it, suction it's getting, and I have no way, if I had a vacuum gauge to attach it to the motor, then, um, you know, sorry about that. But, uh, also sorry if you feel the wind coming out of the motor, it's aimed right at the camera. But, um, hopefully this time I can get it fired up without any issues. Alright, there you go. So it looks like the motor is spinning that direction because I had to have this thing on that side. Anyway, it's pretty powerful. The uh, suction was um, really powerful. So, I mean, I don't want to leave this thing on for long, and I'm not sure if the sparking is actual or not. And seeing as it draws 11 and a half amps, you know, that's that's more than I'd like to be pulling through these um, alligator clip connectors. Um, but. Still, you know, man, that's this is one powerful thing. I'm not really sure how much suction it gets, but you know, I'll leave it plugged in enough this time to put my hand over it and just see. So here goes. Whoa. Okay, that's that's pretty powerful on my hand. I do notice though that when I plug it in and when I unplug it from the wall socket. There are sparks coming from the wall socket. That's probably just due to the super high amperage. But, um, you know, something to watch out for. But anyway, I do have plans to turn this thing into the motor for, you know, at least the vacuum motor for the first stage for my particle accelerator project that you all know about. So that's probably why this video is going to go in the particle accelerator thing. Anyway, if I'm going to flip the motor around, it's, it's actually decently hot right now. Not really, it's kind of, it's decently warm, I should say. Anyway, right here is where it spins, and then it has little things to channel the water, uh, sorry, the air in there. Anyway, as you can see, this large 
desk is really all I have to attach to. There's nothing really to attach to in here because the air is sucked to the sides. So I, I would have to get some sort of monstrous pipe and put it on the outside and then, you know, grade the pipe down into a smaller pipe grade. Um, because you can't attach it to the back, because that's where the air blows out of is the back. So, you know, not really sure what to do there, but it would make a decent first stage, and at least a nice fun project to uh, use to, you know, I'm not really sure what its applications for are aside from particle physics or vacuuming your couch, but it's definitely really cool, and uh, gives me some promise to actually hopefully construct my particle accelerator, because now I have a working vacuum pump. Whereas before, the vacuum pump had always been, you know, a big issue. So, still is a big issue. I still need a much more powerful one to use as my second stage. But, um, you know, it's a nice start. So, if you have any ideas for it, you know, how to attach something to the outside, how to perhaps get more suction out of it, or make it less dangerous, um, if the sparks are a good thing or a bad thing, you know more about this motor please tell me anyway uh thanks for watching bye